for the poster and going to be six out. Beating and banging here in the sportsman class. Still banging as we head down. Rempel going to work there. Oh, five wide for a moment through one and two. Back down to four and three wide. Up and two. What a showing. All right, let's start the Rob Seco Rapid Nationals. Lems Auto Recyclers, Sportsman, Row 1, the 99, Dylan Sproke, and 14, Bill Crone. Both of Rock Rapids. Row 2, Nate Regneris of Sioux Center, and the 32, 17 from Beaver Creek. It's Brandon Bovey. And Row 3, Brandon Sneller of Dune in the 44, 9, Andy Wazorek of Sioux Falls. We're racing six laps. Falcons 20, Lions 17, 10 to go in quarter two. Oh, look at that. It's Brian Crone out to the lead early on in this Lems Auto Recyclers Sportsman Heat Race. Nate Regnaris in the 32, running a strong second just in front of the nine of Andy Wazorek. Wazorek taking a look to the outside of Regnaris there off of turn two. Nothing doing. They race back to turn three. Regnaris very quick through the third turn. Slides up the racetrack. Here comes Wazorek. Two is inside. Still nothing doing. Big lead already for the 14 of Brian Crone. And they'll come to two to go in the opening heat race of the Lems Auto Recyclers. Sportsman. It's a six and a half second lead for Brian Crone as he'll come to the checkered flag, your first winner at the Rob Seco Rapid Nationals and heat race action for the Lems Auto Recyclers. Sportsman is the 14, Brian Crone. Nate Rigner is gonna hold on to that second spot. Andy Wazorek will cross third. Here comes that battle for the fourth spot off of the last turn. And hustle in the high line to that spot will be the 99. Dylan Stroke, Brandon Sneller in the fifth spot, and Brandon Bovey six. So Brian Crone picks up a win by 7.7 7 seconds over Nate Regneris, Andy Wazorek third, Dylan Stroke fourth, Brandon Sneller fifth, and Brandon Bovey finishes sixth. And final row, Tyler Bradley in the 94. He's from Harrisburg, South Dakota. And Bill Crone in the 14 2.0 out of Rock Rapids, starting sixth on the grid. Caution lights go dark. We work to the start in turn number four. Lems Auto Recyclers Sportsman. Two heat races tonight. Draw, redraw format for your regular divisions here at the Rapid Speedway. Passing points for MSTS Sprints. Draw, redraw for Tri-State Late Models. Here we work to the green. Gerald Steenhoven sets the pace. Hammers go down. We're underway. Heat race number two of the Lems Auto Recyclers Sportsman. Steenhoven grabs the initial lead. Here comes Marnie DeBoer on the inside line, but building the momentum is the 15, Caden Kroc. DeBoer and Kroc side by side as the 14 of, Bron of Bill Crone working through the field as well, getting by the 57 of Steenhoven. Three wide into turn number one. They bang into the corner. And here comes that 14B of Crone to the high line, going by the 50M of Marnie DeBoer for position number two. So the Crone machines looking fast here early on at the Rob Seco Rapid Nationals. But Gerald Steenhoven, the 19S, out to the lead, two down, four to go. 
And a 1.6 second advantage for the 19S over the 14 of Bill Crone. Marty DeBoer still in third. Todd Steenhoven in the fourth spot. Tyler Bradley, Caden Kroc rounding out the field. They'll come to the halfway point. Three down, three to go in heat two of the Limbs Auto Recyclers Sportsmen. Steenhoven continuing with the 1.2 second advantage. They'll see the signal, two to go. Crone about two tenths of a second faster every lap, but still has a second to make up. That's closing in quickly as they come to the white flag. Final lap underway for this final heat race of the Lems Auto Recycler Sportsman. And a half second cut off the lead that last lap. Does Bill Crone have anything for Gerald Steenhoven in the final set of turns? Steenhoven through the middle. Crone's gonna follow, dips the nose to the inside. Coming through turn number four, they'll come to the checkered. It's Steenhoven over Crone and then Marnie DeBoer in third. Gerald Steenhoven, the 19S victorious over the 14B of Bill Crone in heat race number two of the Limbs Auto Recycler Sportsman. Marnie DeBoer, the 50M, was third. Todd Steenhoven, fourth in the 57. Tyler Bradley, a fifth in the 94. And Caden Kroc in the 15 finishes in sixth. Got the maximum points in that A main, 150 points to be exact. And that allowed the 22 of Brown to close in to just two points behind by and off coming into tonight's Rob Seco Rapid Nationals and 2019 championship event for the Tri-State Late Models. So keep that in mind later tonight. Right now, it's time for Siva's McGraphics Hobby Stocks, heat race number one. Stair stepping three wide for the race lead. Levi Vanderwide is going to grab it over the 52 of Trevor Kroc. Here comes the six of Dustin Gobronson. He's got third, getting in front of the L82 of Logan Fitzpatrick. Aluska and Jansen side by side. Deep in the field. Five laps to go. It's Levi Vanderwide. out by eight tenths of a second over the 52 of Trevor Kroc. Croc, a feature winner at the uh, Rock County Speedway this season up in uh, Laverne, Minnesota, one of their uh, just couple races they have up there each season. Dustin Gobronson finished runner-up out here in the feature event last Friday night to conclude the 2019 regular season. That's good. Good track title for that number six rival. Sparklers and snakes coming from underneath the six of Dustin Gobronson. Loses some steam coming off of the second turn. Now he works into turn three on the bottom. Car looks to be fine now as he tries to chase down. No, now it's not. Into the infield goes the 2019 track champion, Dustin Robinson in the six. And yellow is going to come out. There is debris on the racetrack. Caution flag flies in heat race number one of the Sebasma Graphics Hobby Stocks. You smile at me when I say that. Why? I had fun there uh, once, 1998. Green flag is out, back underway. Nick Jansen trying to get a run to the 86. Uh, Tracy Haluska who closes the door, getting into turn number three. Two laps to go for the eight of Levi Vanderweide. Vander Whitey will bring us to the white flag. His lead last time by the stripe. Well, at 1.1 seconds over the 52 of Trevor Kroc. Here's a race for third. The 86 of Tracy Luska going to the bottom of Logan Fitzpatrick in turn number one. 
Wheel to wheel off of turn number two. They will go. Fitzpatrick on the top. Aluska on the bottom. Still door to door as they race to turn number three. It'll be Vanderweide picking up the win. Croc will go P2. The race is for third. Fitzpatrick pushes up the racetrack just a little bit, and he'll get the spot. Race for fourth goes to Aluska. Levi Vanderweide, the eighth, the winner. Trevor Croc, second in the 52. Logan Fitzpatrick will take third. A great race, third, fourth, and fifth. Tracy Haluska finishes fourth in the 86, and Nick Jansen, fifth in car number 11. How's the beer in the VIP? Cold? Delicious? Hope so. Landon Crone setting the pace. Car number 18K. Young driver, Rowena Rocket, they call him. Alex Wurtzma to his right. Six laps will be your distance. Sebas McGraphics, Hobby Stock, heat race number two is underway. Wurtzma to the top shelf. He'll lead him off of turn number two down the back straightaway. Side by side for the second spot. Crone gets blown by by the 23. Avaluska, who goes top shelf, hunting. Here comes the 61 and Brady with him. Down the front straightaway they come for the first time. One lap down, five laps to go. It's Alex Wurtzma out to the one second lead early in this one over Marty Aluska and Nick Brady. Brady Clausen in the fourth spot. Landon Crone slides back to position number five. Dustin Schultz getting his feet wet in hobby stock action. Back there running six, yellows coming out. The 14K off of the racetrack. Uh, Brady, or Bryant Clausen off the racetrack and brings out the caution. His heat race will come to an end here in heat race number two of the Siemens McGraphics Hobby Stocks. Five laps to go in this one. They've told him over the race receiver. Think better of that, so he'll pull it back to the infield. We're ready to go with the cars remaining on the track. Five laps to go as Alex Wurtzman, the 13X, setting the pace. And they come to the green. Brady Clawson getting a nose inside of Nick Brady in turn two. Couldn't make anything happen with that. Brady will try the very top line. Picked up the A-main win here last Friday night. But it's the 23 of Haluska continuing to run. Position number two as they go back to turn number one now is the 35K. Brady Clawson dips the nose to the inside of Brady, who's got that right rear right up on the lip of the track. Brady with the momentum continues to run third. Back to turn three they go. Still all Alex Wurtzma as we come to the halfway point in heat race number two of the Seabus McGraphics Hobby Stocks. Brady with the run on the 23 of Haluska. They'll go back to turn number three. All of them ride in the top shelf through three off of number four. And Cody gives him the signal, two to go. He tries to go to the very top. Oh, too tall for the 18K of Landon Crone. He's off the outside of turn number two, trying to bring it back on the racetrack. The other four cars break away, and they'll see the white flag. Final lap getting underway for heat two of the Seabus McGraphics Hobby Stocks. Haluska leaves the top line open. Here comes Nick Brady on the final set of turns. He'll have a shot at the runner-up spot. Top side, two by two, they come. Wurtzma gets the win. Brady will get around Haluska for second. Good race right there. Alex Wurtzma picks up the win in the 13X, but it's Nick Brady with the last corner pass in the 61N to take second over the 23. And Marty Haluska third, Brady Clausen fourth in the 35K, and Landon Crone in the 18K was fifth. All right, six laps will be the distance. Final heat race, Sebas McGraphics, Hobby Stocks. Coming onto the racetrack, we go green in a turn number four. Scotty DeYoung, Josh Connell. In row one, Brandon Jerns, Max Scadam, row two. Dylan Vandentop, Scott Jones, and Spencer Sproke. Six laps, we come to the green. Josh Connor.
O'Donnell in the three. Double C will grab the initial lead. Here comes the 77 of Max Gadam in P2. And on the move, the 65, the hatchback. Scott Jones on the move. He's on the top shelf, but here comes the 81 VT of Dylan Bannon top to the inside. He'll grab third off turn number four. And they're bumper to bumper down the front straight away. All that happening right in front of the fifth place running. Scotty DeYoung in the S2H. And then a distance back to Brandon Jurens and Spencer Spilk running sixth and seventh. Here comes a race for second, the VT machine. 81 VT, Dylan Bannon top on the top. And he'll grab the second spot over from the 77 of Max Scadam. Scadam now third, just in front of the 65 of Scott Jones. Top five rim riding around the rapid speedway. Now Jones will drop, drop to the bottom of turn number four. Got the call loose. Here comes Scotty to Hottie to his back bumper as they race to turn one. Halfway, three laps to go. DeYoung looking to the inside off of turn number two. Jones Strong off of that corner continues to run in the fourth spot. Meanwhile, we could have a battle for this win as the three double C of Connell has company up front by the name of Dylan Vandetop in the 81 VT car. Connell a little push in turn number one. Vandetop dips the nose inside, gets to the rear fender. And they're side by side, back to turn number three. Van Top backs out of it. Connell will take it in deep, sliding up the racetrack. Van Top through the middle. Now to the bottom off of turn number four as they come to the white flag. Again, Connell with the push in turn number one. Van Top closing in. The car snapped loose on Connell off of two. They'll do that. You got the left wheel, front wheels turned all the way left, and all of a sudden the car catches up. Vanatop off the top of the racetrack, and Connell's going to come to the checkered. Vanatop's going to pull it back to the racetrack in drag race to a second place run over the 77 of Max Gatto. The three double C, Josh Connell picks up the win in the final heat race of the Sebas McGraphics Hobby Stocks. Dylan Vanatop second to the 81 VT. Max Gadam third in the 77. Scott Jones in the fourth spot in the 65. Scotty DeYoung finishes fifth in the S2H. Then Spencer Spoke in the 78S and 19. Brandon Jurens in seventh.